Welcome back to Pentagram Prime, everyone. Picking up where we left off in the last episode, we will be looking for singular points for the function listed in exercise 7b on page 254 of Marsden and Hoffman before calculating the residues at those same singular points. This time we're dealing with f of z equals 1 over the quantity z squared plus 2z plus 1, and I'm in the mood for a quadratic formula. How about you? Before we get ahead of ourselves, I should be clear that the methodologies used here are covered in greater detail in the previous episode. A link to it, as well as a link to episode 60, which includes a discussion about zeros in the complex plane, is included in the description. Application of quadratic formula to the denominator reveals that f of z has a second order pole at z equals minus 1. So we'll only be dealing with a one singular point in this problem. Looking at the limit listed in Proposition 416 on page 248, we see that for our value of f of z and a value of z0 equal to negative 1, the limit only exists for exponents of z minus z0 at or above 2, the implication being that k equals 2 for the purposes of Prop 416. Having established that k equals 2, we can now calculate a value for phi of z, and after canceling out the z plus 1 terms, we have phi of z equals the constant 1. Plugging k into the residue formula listed in Proposition 416 tells us that we need to calculate the first derivative of phi of z and evaluate it at z0. Since phi of z is a constant, the first derivative is 0 for all values including z0 equals negative 1. Plugging phi prime of z0 back into the residue formula, we see that the residue of f of z at z equals negative 1 is 0. This delightfully short episode is over with, and I can't wait to drive all the way to Canada for an abortion. Till next time, this is Pentagram Prime signing off.